Garmin Guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a route from waypoints and navigate it on a Garmin device. So I fired up Basecamp and for this example, we're going to do a lap of Hyde Park in central London. So I've zoomed in here onto Hyde Park. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new list for this example. So I go up to my collection, right click and click to create a new list. So I'm going to call this list uh, create a route from waypoints. So the next thing we need to do is create some waypoints for the route. So I click on the waypoint tool and I start creating waypoints. So I start on Queen's Gate, then create another one in Knightsbridge, create another one on Park Lane towards Marble Arch, create another one heading towards Notting Hill, one more on Kensington Church Street heading towards High Street Kensington, and the final one on Gloucester Road. So now we've got our waypoints, we need to create a route. So we click on New Route, and the drop down at the top of this dialog box, we select the activity profile we're doing. So I'm going to choose in this instance motorcycling. So we've got now drag start point here. So we drag a waypoint, the appropriate one, and drop it on the start point, and drag destination here. So we take our destination waypoint and drag that onto the destination. So that started to create our route. So, so far the route only goes between the start and end waypoints. So to create the real route, we need to add some more waypoints. So to do that, we select the final waypoint, go over to the right and click on the plus. And from here we can insert the remaining waypoints. In this example, they're all numbered, so it's fairly easy to put them in. So once we've got all our waypoints, you see the route starting to come together. So we can now either click recalculate to calculate the route or just close and it will recalculate automatically based on the activity profile and that creates our route. So next I'm going to right click on the route and rename it so it's easier to recognize once we send it to the device. So I'm going to call this route Lap of Hyde Park 2 and put waypoints in brackets to distinguish it from the other examples I've created. So the next thing I need to do is make sure my device is plugged into the computer, then right click on the route and choose send to and select the device from the list and click OK. So the next step is to import the route onto your device. So I'm going to power up my device, which is a Garmin Zumo 590LM. And because I've sent the route to it, it's prompting me to import the route immediately. So I'm going to click yes, select the route from the list, click import and that imports the route. So to find the route, I click on Apps, Trip Planner, choose the route from the list, and I'm gonna click on Map just to verify that that is actually the route I want to do. So you can see on the map there, that's a fairly accurate representation of what we plotted. If the Zumo doesn't prompt you to import the route automatically on Startup, you can import it manually by clicking on Apps, Trip Planner, Click on the context menu, click on import, select the route you want to import and click import to import it as before. And once again, when we navigate to the route, we can verify on the map that that's what we actually wanted to do. So now let's drive the route. So here I'm in my car. So I click on apps, trip planner, Lapified Park 2 for waypoints, go choose the waypoint I want to start from and click start and then click go. Turn left onto Queen's Gate. Arriving at 135 Queen's Gate on the left. In a quarter of a mile, turn right onto Kensington Road. Turn right onto Kensington Road. In one mile, turn left onto Albert Gate. So that's an example of navigating the route, and you can see the waypoints we plotted are showing up on the map. So the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to export that route to share with peers, perhaps over email or Dropbox or using OneDrive. So to do that, we click on File, Export, select the list that contains the route, and then we can save it on our computer and distribute it as we wish.
So next I'm going to show you how to edit the route. So the first thing we need to do in this instance is make sure that the edit features toolbar is visible. So in order to do this we need to go up to the view menu and select toolbars and make sure that there's a checkbox next to edit features. So this gives us the editing feature. So we'll start by inserting a point. So we click on the insert point tool and this enables us to insert a point between two existing waypoints. So when we hover between them we get this black bar. If we left click we get the uh, elastic bands and that enables us to left click again and insert a new point on the route. Next we'll use the move point tool to move an existing point. So we'll go down to this waypoint here, hold down the left mouse button and move that to a different position on the map. And the route recalculates accordingly. Next we'll look at the um, erase point tool. So this tool enables you to remove a point from the map that you've created already. So I click on the erase point tool. I can remove perhaps this point at the bottom of the route and that removes that waypoint and the route recalculates accordingly and finally the divide route tool so this enables you to split the route in two so you see when I hover over it part of the route displays in a dark color so this shows where the split will be so we can position the pointer as to where we'd like to divide the route left click on there we get a message saying are we happy for both routes to share the same point so we can click yes and that creates two new routes so from there we can send those to our device if we'd like to navigate them. So next I'm going to show you how to make a more elaborate route using waypoints. So I've clicked on the zoom tool, I'm going to zoom out and next I'm going to pan over to Essex. Now Essex is a county northeast of London which has some fantastic motorcycle roads. So I'm going to click on the waypoint tool and this time I'm going to select an actual town as a waypoint. So if I hover over Epping and click on Epping, that's created a new waypoint for the town of Epping. So I click back on the panning tool and I'm going to pan north. And I'm going to select the waypoint tool again. And once again, I'm going to choose a town as my waypoint. So I'm going to choose Finchingfield, which is a fantastic place to stop for a, a cup of tea in Essex. Once more, go back to the panning tool and pan north again. And select the waypoint tool again and choose my final waypoint as Stansfield. So next I need to create the route. So I click on the new route tool and I'm going to choose the activity profile. Now in this instance, I'm going to actually choose motorcycling curvy as the activity profile for a variation. So I'm going to drag um, Epping to the start point and drag Stansfield to the end point and that will create uh, an initial route. So if we look across, that's the curvy route it's created. But we also wanted to go through finching field. So if we click on the plus sign here, we can add finching field to the route and then either recalculate or close and it will recalculate automatically and that will show us the uh, route it's created using curvy roads through those three waypoints. As before we can use the editing tools to edit the route until it's the route we want to actually ride. So we've got the uh, insert point, move point, erase point and also divide tools available to us. So when we're happy with the route I'm going to right click on it and choose to rename the route so it's easy to recognize on the device. So I'm going to call it Essex Ride Out and then right click on it, choose send to and then send it to my device. So that's how to create a route from waypoints, import it onto your Garmin device, navigate it and edit it. Thanks for watching and remember to like, share and subscribe.